Hello students, welcome to Great 10 Science Lessons, and I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. This map shows the major active volcanoes of the world. Examine it carefully. Are all active volcanoes located near plate boundaries? Not all volcanoes are found near plate boundaries. Some volcanic activities take place in the middle of a plate. Just like the islands of Hawaii, where we can find some of the most active volcanoes. You have learned that most volcanoes are formed along plate boundaries. But how did the Hawaiian volcanic islands form? Let's find out in today's lesson. Volcanic Hotspot What are volcanic hotspots? Most volcanoes and earthquakes are found along plate boundaries. There are some volcanoes that sit in the middle of plates. These volcanoes have formed above a hotspot. A hotspot is mainly caused by a small amount of geologic activity known as intraplate activity, which means that tectonic activity does not take place at plate boundaries but within a plate instead. Scientists suggested that there is a source of molten materials from the mantle called mantle plume that form the hotspot. A hotspot is the surface expression of the mantle plume that forms the volcanic island chains. Continuing plate movement eventually carries the island beyond the hotspot and cutting it off from the magma source. As one island volcano becomes extinct, another develops over the hotspot. And the cycle is repeated. This process of growth and death of volcanoes over many millions of years has left a long trail of volcanic islands and seamounts across the Pacific Ocean floor. The best example of hotspot volcanic chain is the Hawaiian Islands. From the volcanic track left by the moving plate, we can tell the direction of motion of the plate and the rate at which it moves. Remember, hotspots are much more common beneath oceanic crust because oceanic crust is thinner than the continental crust. That's why magma plume can easily penetrate oceanic crust creating a hotspot. Did you know? The Yellowstone is a volcanic hotspot found in the continental crust of the North American plate and responsible for a large scale of volcanism in the area. Let's have an activity on hotspot. Get a piece of paper and a pen. You may pause the video to answer the activity questions. Let's start! Study the picture of the Hawaiian Islands. Then answer the activity questions. Which island is the oldest? Which island is the youngest? Which island volcano is the least active? Which island volcano is the most active? Can you tell the direction of the plate movement? Note, use the islands as reference in telling the direction of the plate.
And lastly, what do you call the molten material in the hotspot? Let's check your answer. Which island is the oldest? The oldest island is Kauai because it's the farthest island from the hotspot. Which island is the youngest? The youngest island is Hawaii because it's above the hotspot. Which island volcano is the least active? The least active volcano is Kauai. Which island volcano is the most active? The most active volcano is Hawaii. Can you tell the direction of the plate movement? The direction is from Hawaii to Kauai as indicated by the red arrow. What do you call the molten material in the hotspot? The molten material is magma. What an excellent work in doing this activity! To summarize what you have learned, hotspot volcanoes occur far from plate boundaries. A hotspot is an area on Earth over a mantle plume or an area under the rocky outer layer of Earth called the crust, where magma is hotter than surrounding magma. As the plates move, the hotspot does not, and may create a chain of volcanoes on the Earth's surface. The magma plume causes melting and thinning of the rocky crust and widespread volcanic activity. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mamarian Soriano. See you in our next lesson. Thank <laughs> you.